Like. <laughs> All right, now we're getting right into it here. Mr. E rocking the puke cream Lucina. Yeah. <laughs> up against I, don't, I don't know who taught him that. Like, he's just, he used to go like such beautiful colors, like the black one, the norm, even the normal one. Now he just, now he just likes ugly colors like this. I mean, isn't like a very specific character referenced oh. in the, from the Fire Emblem series? I think he's played Fire Emblem. <laughs> <laughs> I think he has, I think because of quarantine he has, but. <laughs> Nonetheless, yeah. he actually has the lead. And I know Mr. E, out of everyone here, has the most experience playing a Sonic, playing Sonics. He does play enough Wi-Fi brackets to match up with Sonics and all the other um, Sonic mains that... Yeah. Oh, man. I will just... say at this point, it, it's worth noting, I think Mr. E is... I personally would actually put him as favorited to take the whole event right now. Yeah, so... If anybody has not looked at the bracket, it's been a death bracket. <laughs> oh, Upsets yeah. anywhere, everywhere. Yeah, all over the place. And oh, Mr. E has not been upset yet, and it's looking like he does not want to be at all, making sure he isn't with this. Uh, never mind. He wants to get upset. He's uh, just like, please, forward smash me. I want to be in losing. Not the greatest decision making right there. <laughs> he got a trade, though. He did get a trade. He got extra credit. Technically. <laughs> He well, got punched well, in the nuts. <laughs> <laughs> uh, now, Kamek at 69%. Very tactical error from uh, Mr. E. Good job getting him out of that range, though. You never know what somebody can do when they're at that kind of percent. Yeah, you, you don't want to know when someone's at that percent. <laughs> okay, I think that dash attack was a misinput. But nonetheless, this Mr. E still pushing his advantage. I'm just gonna say that, like he just lets him get back on life salty. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, like I'm trying to work here. I mean, listen, it's it's good because Kamek heard you, and he's like, Psh, I'll show you. Actually, yeah. no, I'll, it, it, <laughs> Mr. E showed him straight into the <laughs> blast zone right there. If this you is, if you guys want to see Comic Sader's curse at its finest, just listen to us speak over this oh, match. Oh yeah, no, it, it's <laughs> fine. Hey, like, uh, we need to start coming up with like more neutral things, you know? Like something might happen in the next second. <laughs> Again, nothing then. Nothing just happened. Dang it. You were actually cursing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that being said, Mr. E doing a good job just racking on the percent here without getting touched all that much. Yeah, just so. holding on to the stock. And I think that's a big thing here because he has a stock lead against Sonic. And Sonic now has to approach you, and he has to play your defensive game. And at that point, oh, man, that just that was like inches off. But, yeah. <laughs> again. But I mean, he's gotten rewarded a lot for just throwing out that forward smash at the ledge. But yeah, once Sonic plays your game, it's kind of just sucks for Sonic. I mean, he's not a Nintendo character. No. If he's not in his own game, then he's uh, he's not doing too hot. Uh, that's going to be Mr. E with a two stock. Pretty, pretty decisive, I'd say. Kamex kind of... Has this look on his face where he's like, yeah, trying to really think about what he needs to be changing. Yeah, yeah trying to figure it out. The thing is, like, as Sonic, I guess your goal is I'm going to outspace the Lucina with my good speed. But, like, Mr. E's spacing and timing is so good. Yeah, some may say immaculate. Precise. Uh, that's immaculate? Kick him off the mic. No, what? You, you <laughs> said it. You literally said it. You cannot throw this one at me. I'm just speaking oh. truth to power right now, fine, man. Fine, fine. <laughs> right. You get away with this one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, going to Kalos. How do you think? About, how do you feel about this counterpick as a stage? Well, I'm surprised he didn't ban it. To be honest, I think this is probably one of Sonic's better stages in the game. Oh, oh what? No. just called him out. Yeah, but <laughs> it's, I know that counter is kind of active, but like the call out on that specific timing. Like once again, like Mr. E's, he just knows exactly when he, he just knows. Out his moves. Like Kalos is the biggest stage in the game, so right there, that smash, he would have died everywhere. Ooh, that was a cute way for Mr. E to get. Did he jump into it so that he would get knocked onto stage? I think so. That's such a cute way to get back on. Mr. E might actually be a genius. Yeah, at the very least, he's adorable. Mm. Picking the cutest options. <laughs> oh. This juggle, looking like a circus act. And 
Kamek still going, man. Yeah. Kamek's just not able to find his way back down to the ground. Another down tilt, down smash, able to cover all of these options. And Kamek's already on this stock is looking like it's about to go for him. Mm -hmm. Oh. All right, goes by his own volition. Yeah, it definitely probably got a side B, and then when you want it, Mr. E knows. Oh, my God. He just knows. His reaction time, man, is just... He knows. <laughs> that wasn't reaction time. It was just he knows. knowing exactly. He knows, man. He's, like, opened his third eye. <laughs> just, like... He's awoken. Oh. Yeah, no, he's opened the gates and seen into the abyss and has come out a more just conscious individual. It's time. Spot dodge the grab. How is he... He just knows exactly every time Kamix is going to try to do anything. Why are you even trying to do anything anymore? He's about to get three stocked. Yeah, no. Fair? Oh, yeah. fair. And that's it. That's it. Three, that's stock, three stock game, too. Wow. I'm, I'm thinking, I'm just looking at Mr. E. I think he might win the whole tournament. He's yeah. just looking so